Hello everybody, welcome to the Impressive Channel. Alicia Keys, Swiss Beats, and Swiss Beats ex-wife Mashonda sat down together and did an interview on Good Morning America promoting Mashonda's new book called Blend. And the book is basically about blending families together and overcoming the hurdles that blended families go through. Now, this story is very interesting to me because it does have a lot of layers here. If you don't know, Swiss Beats was married to Mashonda. Mashonda Shonda used to be a singer back in the day, but she got married to Swiss Beats, who is a popular record producer, and they both had a child named Kasim. According to Mashonda, she and Swiss Beats were both happily married. However, Alicia Keys serenaded Swiss Beats and said, I won't tell your secrets. And you know what he did? He left Mashonda's arms and ran into Alicia Keys' arms. And that is how their marriage ended. Now the breakup between Mashonda and Swiss Beats was pretty public because Mashonda wrote an open letter to Alicia Keys. After Alicia made some cryptic tweets about what love is, and she was trying to express her love for Swiss Beats. However, Mashonda was not having it. In fact, she put Alicia Keys on blast and told the world what was really going on in this messy love triangle. Now I'm gonna read snippets of what she said. She said, my concern with Alicia Keys is no longer the fact that she assisted in destroying a family, but she has the audacity to make these selfish comments about love and wanting to be with someone even after knowing their situation. How is this the same superwoman that I sang out loud with in my truck? I ask myself sometimes. If you're reading this, Alicia, let me start by saying you know what you did, you know the role you played, and you know how you contributed to the ending of my marriage. You know that I asked you to step back and let me handle my family issues, issues that you helped to create. Ooh, I'm sorry to bring up all this mess, but I want y'all to get a backstory of what happened because Mashonda was really fed up about what happened and she even opened up about it on Angela Yee's podcast. So things were fine in your marriage. You were good, mm -hmm. so you thought. But then you found some credit card statements. You did see the credit card statements and I saw did. I will say I did. That's true. And it matched up with the tour that Alicia Keys was totally. on. Mm -hmm. And you were like, hmm. But you didn't suspect anything was going on between them prior to that. Nope. So it was a complete shock. Totally shocked. And then um, you didn't think it was over, though, when that happened. You thought perhaps we can still work this well, out. We're married. I didn't think it was as serious as it was. Right. So how'd you find out it was serious? Because things went left, a lot left. One month after Mashonda and Swiss Beats got a divorce, Alicia Keys and Swiss Beats got engaged. Alicia Keys told her side of the story to Essence Magazine, and she said, we didn't start seeing each other until months after they separated. I was aware of all the false things that were being said about me. It definitely hurt. She also talked about her intoxicating love with Swiss Beats. As you can see, the whole thing was very, very messy. And it was even messier when another woman named Jonna Sebastian came out and said that she also had a relationship and a child with Swiss Beats while he was still married to Mashonda. So Swiss Beats was out there laying it low and spreading it wide. And Mashonda had to deal with the pain of it all, but she did talk about having to put all of her pain aside and make sure that her son had a healthy relationship with his father, his stepmother Alicia, and his half siblings. The reason why she made that step is because she noticed that there was a change in her son. Like my son was around six years old and I had a parent teacher meeting and you know, they told me that he was struggling. He was uh, being emotional, he was acting out, but it all boil boiled down to him grappling with our stuff. I mean, at first we were all so emotional. Um, you know, there's celebrities involved, so it was public which amplified the pain and the embarrassment and the shame. Um, so that created a lot of tension between us as well. It was really important for all three of us to realize, let's just start shifting this energy and making this what it needs to be for our children. It was really a wake up call, like we've gotta do better. We've gotta figure this out. 
And even if we don't want to for ourselves right now, we have to do it for him because he doesn't deserve this. Mashonda, Alicia Keys, and Swiss Beats came to an understanding and they worked everything out. Currently, they are successfully co-parenting their children. And I really think it's a nice story. It really is because it's a positive example to a lot of other people who are going through the same thing. And I know that there are a lot of people out there who are currently in the same position that Mashonda was in. And it's very hard for them to successfully co-parent because there's still some bitterness there. But Mashonda's story is a great example of how you can overcome a situation like this. Mashonda wasn't the only person that had to grow in this situation. Both Swiss Beats and Alicia Keys had to grow as well. And Alicia Keys, she did face a lot of bad backlash for having an affair with Swiss Beats. I mean a lot of backlash to the point that it even affected her career because Alicia Keys was very successful. She won numerous Grammys. She had a lot of hits and she sold millions of records. Her first album songs in A minor sold like six million records worldwide. Her second album Diary of Alicia Keys sold like 10 million records worldwide. Her third album As I Am sold like five million records worldwide. And her fourth album, Element of Freedom, sold over four million records worldwide. She was consistently selling a lot of records. However, after the whole Mashonda and Swiss Beats fiasco, her career did take somewhat of a decline. And of course, there were a lot of factors that were involved with that. I mean, for one, her record label, J Records, was shut down by RCA. And this actually affected a lot of artists, a lot of R&B artists like Jasmine Sullivan, Fantasia, Mario, Leona Lewis, you name it. That's a whole different video. But anyway, that wasn't the only thing that affected Alicia's career. Her affair with Swiss Beats also had an effect on her career because it did somewhat taint her image. Alicia was put on a pedestal as an artist who really invoked female empowerment. She was articulate, she was classy, she was sophisticated, she sung about real things, and her musicality took priority over her image. You know, Alicia wasn't focused on being sexual the way that her peers were. You know, she was focused on her music and a lot of people appreciated her for it. However, once she got into this whole tangle with Swiss Beats, it really did change the public perception of her because people saw a side that they didn't think that they would see. She was no longer just looked at as a Grammy award winning singer and producer. She was now looked at as a home wrecker. And it's kind of unfortunate that she lost fans after that because, you know, I love Alicia Keys music. I think she has a lot of classics under her belt. But when she got into a relationship with Swiss Beats, it did turn a lot of people off from her music, unfortunately. So that really did affect her image, but you know, Alicia Keys, she got over that hurdle and she worked things out with Mashonda. And now both of them are good friends. They vacation together, they hang out, like they're homegirls now. We love each other. I mean, we hang out with each other. We go to dinner together. We're doing Thanksgiving. We're doing the holidays. It is a beautiful partnership, you know, and that is really, really special. I'm very, very proud of that. It's a real yeah. thing and it's possible. It's beautiful. It's a sisterhood. We've put in so much work. I mean, we talk on the phone like every other day because we have to schedule. You know, we're, we're talking about Kasim, And when we're not talking about Kasim, we're just talking about being women, you know, being mothers. There's a part in the book, um, it's the part where me and Alicia have our first moment together. And I asked God to speak through me. And the first thing out my mouth was, I don't want to talk about the past. All that matters is that one day we're gonna share grandchildren. And it's like, when you look at it like that, you have to let go of the negativity. This is a really nice story. I'm really proud of Mashonda and Alicia and Swiss Beats for coming together and just showing the world that this is possible. It's important for this world to see this type of maturity because at the end of the day, it's all about the kids. And in order for the kids to have a healthy environment growing up, their parents have to at least get along. Anyway, tell me what you all think about this down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe and share this video if you care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.